My name is Karl Rasch, and unlocking these files will be my last act as head of Hargreave Rash Biochemical. Please listen carefully. You need to know the truth. The alien creatures we call Seth have been here for millions of years. We discovered them during the Tunguska event and harvested their technology. With that stolen knowledge, we founded this company. We created Raptor Team and sent them to Ling Shan to field test our experimental combat exoskeleton, the Nano Suit. The team's leader, Prophet, knew more than the others, but we didn't tell him everything. The Nano Suit is fashioned from alien material. We had no idea it would call out to the sleeping Seth. This was our first war with the aliens. Only two raptors survived, Psycho and Prophet. Prophet was changed by the encounter, forever tainted by the Seth. Still, we prevailed. But the aliens were not beaten. They adapted to our environment and attacked us again. Prophet fought them in New York, evolving his nanosuit into a weapon of awesome power. But the alien contamination brought him even closer to the Seth. So he replaced his tainted flesh, then turned the Seth's own weapon against them, obliterating their forces. But he was betrayed. Cell turned on profit without my knowledge. They took credit for the victory in New York, and now they are in Washington, seizing power. The Ceph are defeated, but their technology is still deadly. Cell are harnessing that technology to dominate our economies. I ask only one thing. Find Prophet. He's dangerous, no longer human. But he can stop Cell. You must find Prophet. And pray he will fight to save us. One last time. Twenty-three years ago, the alien Seth invaded our world. We stopped them. I stop them but the cell corporation seized the opportunity stepping into the power vacuum quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination cell took us all by surprise even me they call me prophet and I'm the only one who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. what drives me, what I believe. That being a good soldier comes down to one thing, to one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Remember me. When they came to me with the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I sacrificed that too. Replaced it like a spare part. Victory costs. Every time you pay a little more. I saw a glimpse of what's coming. 
and there was nothing left of me to stop it. When the greatest combat machine fails, what do we do then? What do I do? us all. You're the last one. It's all about that suit now. Here, take my back up. Dave, three to come out. Keep low. Move! Bandit, make the diversion. Profit, let's go. Romeo Actual, this is Romeo 1. Initiating burnout, over. Copy that, Romeo 1. We've got to get you in there, inside the dome. There's a war starting. The Alpha Sef? No. Remember those guys who shot you full of K-bolts in Siberia? The guys who had you in lockdown for God knows how many years? The guys who tore the nano suit from my flesh? The guys who were going to do the same to you? Sell those guys. Oh, forget it. Warning. Nano suit disembarkation in progress. All non essential personnel must leave That's the nice. area. Sell security AI. Straight through the front door. Surprise is going to be our only chance. No one's crazy enough to give this a go. There's 
Let's do this quietly. They've got QRF teams on standby. They pulled everyone off leave for this guy? Warning. Do you have any of the Aquarius? Suits the guy in there is Prophets. That's why they've locked everything down? He's on his way to the skinning lab. Who'd be stupid enough to go after him? Watch my back! Sometimes I feel sorry for these bastards. But mostly, I just kill him. See, maybe you need this. A bowl? Yeah, makes you an invisible silent killing machine. Serious kit, this. You like it? No. Well, that's because you haven't heard the good part. Carbon lasers map that bow to your nanosuit. It has enough kinetic energy to stop a rhino dead. With interchangeable heads, you can drop an explosive charge on any target. And best of all, you stay cloaked. You like it now? I'm coming around. Good. Now let's move out. Let's go. Romeo 1, Romeo 2, burnout is complete. Over. Home from. They've got about one, maybe two thousand. The surf. Come off it, mate. The aliens are finished. You should know that by now. Oh, you've got to be kidding They're me. They're in there. Come on, cycle. Let's move. Get door open. Show me Come your on. face. Just that shit. You cut me out of my fucking suit. Now show me your face. Cycle. Let's go. I will fucking find you! You're awake when they cut you out, you know. A lot of the lads died screaming. Their hearts gave up from the shock. Give you cover. Let's link up on the far side. All systems alerted. Fugitives are crossing the perimeter. Oh shit, shit! They're here! Call in! Actual 2 4, reach ATF at the bridge area 5, Delta 6, need backup! Over! Oh, oh. 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 Oh.
other side. Piss off. I don't need a fucking dive suit. Psycho, I'm through. Stand yeah, I copy. Watch my Meet me in the tower elevator. Once we get inside, we'll RV with my people. You have people now. You know me. I've always been a team player. I'm not going anywhere until you give me some answers. Yeah, I remember. Most of them are debt slaves. Sell owns our energy. All of it. You can't pay your bills, you have to work it off. Of course you never do, that's the beauty of it. You get stuck in that work away debt scheme for life. There's no other choice. Well, there is one. You fight. Here, let me show you what Sella been up to while you've been sleeping. Maybe you'll understand then. Welcome to New York, version 2.0. Channeling energy from alien technology. Running their entire global power grid off a single Ceph machine inside this dome. It can't be that simple. It really is, mate. You kill the power, you kill Cell. As simple as you like. No, the Alpha Ceph showed me a vision. We've been through this before. There's got to be a connection somehow. Prophet, the aliens are gone. You finished them off yourself. Just a few waifs and strays left. No. There's something more. If we can just find a hint, somewhere here, a clue. Listen, while you were off hunting some super alien that didn't even exist, Cell were busy taking over the world. We need you back in the here and now, boss. We need you to help us stop Cell. There's more than your revolution going on here. I've seen this. Cell are toying with powers they can't begin to understand. Whatever they're doing, it's going to bring about the end of the world. We have to shut them down. Fucking right we do. Let's get moving.
The gigantic Ceph overhives of the M33 galaxy constantly spew forth seeding ships to colonize new worlds. These ships contain Stage 1 Ceph creatures, of the kind first encountered on Lynxian. The Stage 1s are powerful and highly advanced, but also hugely dependent on their landing vessels, and therefore unsuitable for long-term colonization roles. After landing, the principal aim of these early Ceph is to harvest power. For this reason, they deploy a wide range of energy-gathering technologies, all notable for their ice generation effects. If only we'd known. Once sufficient power has been harvested in this way, the Ceph become an infinitely greater threat. If only we'd been able to stop them here, before stage two. Hardware is intact. Initiating terminal velocity. Copy that, Romeo-1. You have cleared the perimeter. The Liberty Dome is designed to contain a Ceph threat. You have the advantage. Cell units are organizing their response. We estimate you have about uh, 30 minutes. The highlighted area is still a go. Cell ground activity is minimal here, but the towers are still 100% functional. Stay safe and bring that hardware home, Romeo 1. That's Claire, New York's regional commander. She's not a soldier. We've lost most of our top brass, but she's doing one hell of a job. You have respect for command now. Well, you know, this one's different. Oh, shit. She made me swear not to tell a living soul. Well, I guess technically I ain't really breaking my word, right? One big sweaty armpit. Not that you'd notice inside that suit, but it's hotter than a vindaloo in here. Lots changed. This is how it all started. People signed up with Cell for cheap energy. Cell were generating power for free, and nobody could compete with free. Before long, they had a monopoly. Bills went up. People have nothing left except their debt. Cell marched them out and into the volunteer camps. Nothing but slavery. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Just an energy surge. Energy source depleted. Gone now. Scanning sector one, one delta seven. Street Station. Couple of clicks. 
We'll have to get around the kill zone first. No. Cell are closing in. There's no time to go around. The kill radius and rate of fire is within manageable parameters. We can cut straight through this. You hear that, you bastards? Yeah, I'll try you all on, yeah? Come on! Let's have you! Are you insane? Those guns will rip you apart. Ah, so now you get the picture. They took my nanosuit profit. I'm human! Human? You know how much I've sacrificed to stop the Seth. How do I get that back? So what's your plan? Support. Designate and execute targets. Intel. You do the fun stuff. That's not the psycho I used to know. Things change. This is how it's going to work. I'll call out the locations as I see them. Like this one in Sector 1 Delta Zero. These are potential cache locations. Our primary target is Tower 3 Delta 3. As soon as you get the hardware, we'll knock the bastard out cold. Sector 1 Delta 3. Looks good. There. Sector 1 Delta Zero. Sector 1 Delta 2. Got something. Scanning sector That's it. Recon what we have, and let's move on to the next sector. Scanning sector one delta two. Give me an update on your position. Let's link up. Roger that. Oi! How'd you find that gun? It's not important. I hope you know what you're messing with. Come on. We'll cut through the tunnels to the train yard. Hang on! I'm almost there! You know, it is important. There was a lot of talk about you in the suit. Alien modifications, those visions. People aren't even sure what or who you are anymore. What do you believe? I'm here, aren't I? Okay, let's keep it quiet here. We're getting close to cell patrols. We need to go around. You 
think they heard that? Okay, let's meet on the other side. I don't think they heard that. They heard us. What the fuck happened here? Check their black boxes. Find out how they died. I'm going topside. See what's going on. Stalkers and sell. Cut through the engine shed and meet me chopside. Get a fix on it. I can't see the enemy. All I've got is movement in the grass. I'm holding a secure position on the bluff, but it's only a matter of time before I'm on the road. Copy that. We're gonna take some of the heat off. I need a minute to figure out an exfil plan. Romeo Actual, Romeo One. Exit route Bravo is a no-go. Please advise. No alternative? Who the fuck are you? No, no, no! I do not want to talk to you! Shut it! Get clear on the line! No! I want clear! Oh, fuck you. Go on. Improvise? What the fucking hell do you mean, improvise? Where's your plan B? Okay, so there's a tunnel. You think you'll 
change the rules. And you're sure about that, are you, Sunshine? That's just fucking brilliant. Typical HQ bullshit. I can't open up that tunnel. Yeah? Well, I fucking can. Come on. Give it a push. Well, I don't know about you, but I call that fucking flawless. <laughs> Number one soldier on the line. Open a window to the safe house. ETA 10 minutes. Romeo 1, Romeo actual. You will maintain radio protocol. Now bring that hardware home. Over and out. Let's go. What a hard ass. Listen, she's all right when you get to know her. Just don't mention the visions, okay? Psycho? Why does she keep calling me hardware? The Ceph creatures that attack New York and other major population capitals were different in many respects to the Lynxian aliens. Though the reason for this was not immediately apparent. We now know that the Ceph are a highly adaptive and reactive species, with the initial stage one aliens bred to give way to a second stage, one specifically evolved and modified for their host environment. They assessed our world, they absorbed our DNA, tested it with their spores, and when we resisted, studied our battle tactics. The Ceph adapt to mirror the dominant species. This is their genius. What better way to ensure success in any environment, in any corner of the universe? The Stage 2 aliens were bred to terraform our planet, to turn Earth into a hive world. 
but we defeated them, pushed them back, and the Ceph have only one response to defeat. Stage 3. Listen up. As long as Cell controls the power, they control us. Enslave us. Cell's Golden Goose rests at the Zuckerman Energy Nexus near Broad Street Station. They call it System X. This remnant of Ceph technology is contained within a single harvesting facility several hundred meters below street level. Nothing in Cell's military industrial world is guarded as tightly as this. If Cell have an Achilles heel, this is it. You all know we've taken heavy losses in the last few months. An operational command has fallen to me. Our backs are against the wall and Cell are all over us. So it's now or never. We take Cell down today, or we die trying. Welcome to our humble abode. Cell are always on our tail. We have to move around like no man. Your mission has priority. You will well, get relief. Just you get the picture. Okay. Shit! All units, outpost to reach a blow. Fall back to the green line. Stay mobile. Hello, sweetheart. Hold on, Michael. I'll be with you in a moment. Welcome home. The cell is hammering us with digital artillery. Our network is being torn apart. Get us back online now. Claire. Using reflectors to bounce the signal. Yeah, I don't give a shit. We need to get back online. Claire. God. Michael. What a day. We lost some good people. I was trying to contact Dane when... What the... Oh, no. No, no. Claire. This is Prophet. My CO for... Look at the modifications, Michael. Is it Seth? Cell? Is it even human? Have we been sacrificing good people for that, that, mutation? Look! This is not just a suit, Michael! Claire! Claire. Five months now we've been here. The balance of asymmetrical warfare favors us less every day. This was meant to be our Normandy. But alas, here we are in hiding. We nibble here, we nibble there, but we can't turn the tide, we can't build momentum. We need a game changer. Major Lawrence Barnes. The Prophet. Karl Ernst Rasch. At your service. Rasch, I remember you. Hold still, please. Recombinant DNA. Human. Seth. Synthetic. Incredible. I can't get a read on you. Oh, come now, Lawrence. What did you expect? I designed your suit, my dear fellow. Of course, it can't get a read on me. Claire's right. You know about the risk. So much power, but volatile and willful. Fractures. Tell me, did Michael brief you on our plans? I'll brief him when we move out, sir. It's brilliant, boss. This will cripple Cell for good. The situation is far worse than any of you can imagine. I have visions, glimpses. Grr. We will take the fight to Cell. Shut down that energy nexus and end all this. Whatever they're doing will bring about the extinction of all life on this planet. Remember that. You sound quite prophetic. Is that intentional? It's very apropos. Now, let's go save the species. Shall we? Right then. Let's move out. Watch yourself. You know I will. Let's go. I told you not to say anything about the visions. At least you get your gobshit about me and her. 
Romeo One, your mic is stuck open. Oops. This way. There she is. Fulton Hydra Dam. 500 megawatts feeding straight into Cell's high altitude defense system. Cell's dividing their forces between the powerhouses. It's your call how you want to do this. There's Cell's energy nexus. System X. We knock out the dam, and Cell's core defenses are out cold. They can't switch power from System X? It's not on the same grid. Explain this to me. Why a dam when they have an infinite power source in System X? Redundancy? Or maybe there's something about System X that scares them. Look, Psycho. How well do you know these people? Can we trust them? What's with her freaking out about my suit? She hates suits. Don't know why. I don't ask. All I know, it was her team that got me out of the skinning lab. She saved my life. Uh, the stairs are blocked. We'll have to get the lift working somehow. One, this is Romeo Actual. I'm assuming control. I need a direct link to the nanosuit's visual output. Over. Roger that. But only for as long as it's necessary. Listen up. Intel suggests. Ah, fuck that. We're 100% goddamn positive the Tin Man is in this quadrant. You know his M.O. The dam will be his primary target. We're deep inside the Hades radar shadow. That means no guns on this one. It's down to you, assholes. So stick to the plan. Don't fuck around and cover each other. Any questions? What's the meaning of life, Sergeant? Fuck you, Gomez. All right, let's get out there and put a head on a stick already.
Romeo 1, Fulton Dam is fully automated, but the generators have failsafe overrides. Trigger the overrides, and we shut off the power. Okay, we're in. Locate the overrides and shut this thing down. God damn it, there's no time. Let's rough it up a little. Romeo 1. Cell's power output is 65% and falling. Mission accomplished. E and E to Delta now. Move it. Operations approaching maximum tolerance. All non-essential teams. I've got something else in mind. I think you're gonna like it. Weapon free. Help! Romeo 1, we've gained a 60-minute window on the primary target. You have multiple cell units moving on your position. Do not jeopardize the goddamn mission now. Romeo 1, clear to proceed to the Nexus. I'm logging the hardware's explosive exfiltration as unpredictable and flat-out insane. My name is Prophet. You don't have a name. People have names. You have a call sign and a goddamn serial number. And without me, you don't have a goddamn chance. So we both make the best of it. I need a sit rep. Roger that. Cell's high-altitude defense system is completely offline, but it's not over. In fact, it's probably gonna get worse. Cell's in full retreat, but they'll hole up at the Nexus base. Cell will probably try and turn this whole area into a kill zone. Watch out. Claire, Romeo actual, Romeo 1. I mean, still in a lockdown situation here. In the lift. Need assistance returning to HQ. Romeo one. Suck it up. We've got more pressing matters right now. You're right, Psycho. She does grow on you. I think I'm starting to like her. Bollocks. Romeo 1, your primary target is in sight. The System X device is secured in a harvesting facility several hundred meters below ground level. But the control system is located directly above. You'll need to find a way up. Romeo 1, situation critical. Cell continues to operate the Nexus without power for the stabilization matrix. The whole thing could implode at any moment. We're initiating Operation Jackhammer. Bring the power output under control so System X can be safely shut down. Roger that.
They're approaching the harvesting facility. Locate the two power alternators. I need you to close them off fast so we can safely shut down the Nexus. Cell security overrides now. Emergency power shutdown system request. Emergency power shutdown. Release control to shut down the system. Emergency shutdown. Source. 
was the Alpha Set. Oh, fuck me! If your visions are real, does that mean it's end of the world time? No. It means the bastards out in the open. It means I can kill them. I just scraped this from Cell's databanks. Looks like we just broke out their biggest secret. That creature was the source of Cell's energy. The Alpha Ceph. He's way more powerful than I expected. When I was near him, I saw things the Ceph didn't want me to see. If they can get into my head, maybe I can get into theirs and find a weakness. Psycho, you know of a suit cradle nearby? Yeah. At the skinny lab where Cell held me. Let's link up there in 30 mics. Be careful in there, Michael. There are some things you can never forgive. We just deployed in the swamp. Affirmative, moving to sector. All quiet. You hear that? All clear over here. False alarm. Understood. Resume perimeter sweep. No visible target. Moving to next checkpoint. Something there? Must be nothing. Here too. No, no sign of profit. Call it in. Blacktail Actual, this is Blacktail Niner. Delancey 4 Alpha is clear. Moving to the next quadrant. Over. Negative, Blacktail Niner. Condition Red Star Rising has been initiated Fuck. by Nex. Over. Red Star Rising. Please confirm that this is not a mistake. Over. Confirmed. Red Star Rising has been sent. Over. No shit, shit, shit. What are they thinking? Red Star Rising? What's wrong with them? I don't know. Screw Prophet. Let's get out of here. Hey! What about Steber? Fuck him. He'll catch up. You heard of this Red Star Rising, Psycho? No, never. Cell don't spook easily. Find out what you can. We'll meet up at the rendezvous. This is a complete mess. Rash and Claire are offline. You need to solo this while I figure out what's going on. Got word of an iron horse disabled near your location. Those are their intel runners. Must be taking their dirty secrets to the shredder. Prophet, if you can get eyes on that intel, might be able to find out who tortured me. I've located iron horse. Brilliant. Look for the skinning lab file. Found it. What's it say? Nothing. It's redacted. Oh, fuck! Radio check, radio check. Prophet, you there? Comms were down. EM Pulse just knocked out the network. Rash is AWOL. I must make it my highest priority, but Michael has your brief.
Heads up, Prophet. Cell records tell me there's a Seth mind carrier near your location. With your sensitivity to the alien influence, you might want to swing wide. Negative. The Seth has one collective intelligence, a hive mind. It's all dependent on the Alpha. Now he's free. They're all waking up. These mind carriers are part of that process. I need to get eyes on. A hive mind? But you have a lot of alien material in your DNA. I don't know if any of this is a good idea. Profit, check it in. Rendezvous. Fuck! Rendezvous is still a gun. But it's fucking better than that, yeah? Watch your six. Be safe. Fuck me, I thought the bastards on Lincoln were tough. Come on! network is nearly back online, but our field commanders are reporting revived Ceph everywhere. The dome perimeter hasn't been breached, but inside... My god. They're exterminating everything human. I need to find Rash. I'm... I'm not trained for anything like this! goes by where I don't wish I was you. Even with all that God knows what hardware, wetware, Ceph mutation bullshit going on under that skin of yours, 
I take it? Come on. Cell had me locked down here for months. Never knew how far they were taking this shit. I'm gonna make you fucking pay! You bastards! Where the fuck are ya? Psycho. If I could find the cell bastard who did this, I'd fucking kill him. Come on. are cleared. I'm registering critical neurological changes. You should be able to make a clear link with the Ceph now. What's this? Michael, you shouldn't. Don't. Why not? It won't help. Operation? The nanosuit is then fully removed. Subject 8A, Sergeant Michael Seitz, is 
uh, he's still functioning at near optimal levels. But accelerated degradation is to be expected. You did this to me. Michael, please listen to me. You are the reason why. I, I mean, I fight Cell because of you. Because... Is that why you cared? Or were you pretending to care because of this? Because of your own fucking guilt? I didn't have a choice, Michael! The Cell program, we were in debt, you know how this works. I was forced to do this. To all of those people. I had to listen to their screams day after day after day. I know what I did. Jesus, believe me, I know. And I'll have to carry that with me as long as I live. Every day of my life. Michael! And feeling bad about it makes it all right, does it? If you're so fucking sorry, Claire, how come I had to find out like this? Why didn't you just come clean, you lying Michael, fuck? Michael, listen to me. You know how it works. You know she didn't have a choice. She did what she had to do. No choice. Just doing what she's told. Just following orders. Who the fuck does that sound like, Prophet? I'll tell you one thing, though. She was right about you. You might as well be a fucking machine because you sure as hell ain't no human being anymore. I mean, you never were much good at it to begin with, but Jesus Christ, look at you now! Whose face are you wearing under that helmet these days, Prophet? Do you even have a face anymore? We all had to make sacrifices. You had a choice, mate. Everyone has a choice. But I told you everything you needed to know. Remember these. All the men who died under your command because you were just following orders. Because you had no choice. Just like her. Psycho. No, you take that suit of yours, and you go fight your own battles. Like always. Mike. Wait. No, Claire. He's right. Let him go. Oh, God. We just got intel on Red Star Rising. Listen carefully. Archangel is a key regulator platform in Cell's new wireless energy grid. But that's not all it does. The system's massive power store can be discharged via a broad area directed energy weapon, meaning assured destruction of hostile elements and metropolitan area depopulation events. Protocols exist for Archangel to be retasked for a number of alternate outcomes. When that outcome is the threat of Ceph Stage 3, Archangel begins the most aggressive protocol set available Red Star Rising. Oh, God. They're gonna obliterate New York. Total. Orbital. Annihilation. Why can't Cell stay out of my goddamn way? I need to get everyone out to the perimeter. You're wasting your time. I have to save as many lives as I can. No. It won't matter. It's not gonna be like Link Shan. Archangel has a massive global energy store. They feed all that power back into the Alpha Seth and they'll punch one hell of a hole in the Earth. There'll be no Earth left. So what can we do? Connect to a Seth mine carrier. If I can get inside their heads, maybe I can reverse the awakening, put them all back to sleep. There's no Seth threat. Cell will call off Archangel. You're going to make yourself to the Seth? Prophet, you struggled to resist their influence even when your mind was protected. We've turned those safeties off now. That means the nanites in your suit are free. That means they can transform into anything, any form imaginable. You could actually become a Seth. That's a risk I'm willing to take. 
You're never gonna make it. They're gonna nuke the whole city. You're all gonna die. to link up ASAP. The situation is out of control. It didn't work, but the Ceph hive mind is pure energy. If I let them in a little more, I can take that power for myself. Prophet, come back to me and listen. I've got more details on Archangel. It's already in transfer orbit. It could be on us within the hour. We also know cells evacuated everywhere but a single facility about five clicks from here. It must be a command point for the satellite. Oh, Get me inside, and we can shut Archangel down together. Are you with me on this, soldier? Yes, ma'am.
unit? The Seth disabled our APC. Can you? We need help, Prophet. I don't know what... I don't think this is a survivable situation. Hang in there. Five minutes, okay? Just five more minutes. Clear? Clear! God damn it.
us with this. It's fresh. Get him. I've got some more data on Archangel. We're tracking its orbital transition, and you're gonna have to pick up the pace. It'll be over New York in just 15 minutes. You gonna make it? We're just a couple of clicks from Rash's signal origin. We'll sweep for any signs of him, and we'll be out there in five. We'll be at the run. Generator powering the air defenses. You can put a shell through it. Over. I'll see what I can do. Prophet! Prophet! We've got Rash! We've got Rash! What's the status? Confused. He's not making a lot of sense. Don't think he knows where he is or who we are. But physically he's fine. I think he's shell-shocked. He was holed up dead center of a Ceph hot zone. No idea how we survived that onslaught. Is down. Free the land. Copy that. Now make your way to the control station. Hurry up. Lift should still be functional. Over. Lock on in 10 minutes. Move it, Prophet. Prophet? Prophet, is that you, my dear boy? I should have known I could rely on you. You've made a brilliant decision. Archangel is a threat to us all. We must act quickly. We've come too far. We cannot lose everything now. Psycho, the Seth have gone quiet. What's going on? The Seth have disengaged the target. No intel or motivations. Over.
Prophet, help me out here. I need you to access that terminal. Accessing. Emergency procedures in progress. All remaining cell operatives must evacuate to subterranean containment facility. Five, Epsilon, nine. Stop it. My children were mindless while I slept. Cutting down Archangel was the last thing I needed from you. And for that, I must thank you. What? What are you talking about? Rash, rejecting stage 3 simulation. The third and final stage. The beam. It's powering... Oh, my God. It's an Einstein-Rosenbridge. A goddamn wormhole to the M33 galaxy. And there's something big coming through. Back in the safe house, when I couldn't get a read on you, you said it was because you were the suit's creator. But that's not it, is it? How long has it been going on? Extending your life with nanotech, with Ceph DNA, do you have any idea what you've become? You were battling the Sep Hive Mind, just like me. Except, you lost. They absorbed you. And now you're one of them. final and most deadly element of the Ceph colonization strategy. If met with significant and persistent resistance, a Ceph incursion force will seek to open an Einstein-Rosen bridge direct to the heart of its parent galaxy. From there, Ceph overhives will deploy their dedicated warrior cast to obliterate any and all obstructions. We've only seen a fraction of what the Ceph can do. This is an extinction level event. <coughs> The Alpha Ceph will keep powering that beam until their entire invasion force is through. We have to shut it. Clear! 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 Profit! What the heck's going on back there? Jesus fucking Christ! Clear! Just, just hold on! 
sorry. Michael, you have nothing to be sorry about. <coughs> no man could have done more. Forgive me? Of course I do. Good. Then it's all right, then. It's all right. Clear. Clear. It's Psycho, I'm sorry, but we don't have much time. We need to find another VTOL now. Psycho... Don't you fucking call me that! We have to shut that energy beam down, Psycho, or everyone is going to die. Do you understand me? And what the fuck am I supposed to do about it, eh? I'm Michael Sykes! I'm just a human prophet! I couldn't even save one fucking life, not one! You selfish son of a bitch! Don't you get it yet? Rash had me pinned back there, kept me locked down because of this damn suit. If you'd been wearing a suit, we'd all be dead. You being human is what saved us. We all human, Psycho. And we all fought. Me, you, Nomad, Jester, all of us. We fought. Not the goddamn nano suits. Now it's just you and me that's left. We can make a difference. One last mission. Do you think she'd want you to quit now? Fucking right it is. And I'm gonna be doing the slaughtering. Like you said, boss, I don't need a suit. I don't need tech. I just need bottle, right? You take out the artillery. I'll bring in the veto. Go on, mate. It ain't the end of the world. Yet. I'll see you on the other side. of estimated power apex. Vela 3 satellite has detected Hawking radiation at a distance of 1.2 AU. Solar spread telemetrics indicate white hole formation. Signature. Thought we could maybe help each other out. Set resistance is... Ah, fuck it. Look around. It's a shit show. Venom Command, I'll keep it simple. I'm taking down those sub triple A's. And the assistance is welcome. Otherwise, stay out of my way. Roger that, Prophet. Set 
Use your visor to mark the target. Alpha seven. All cell units conform to protocol 18 Zulu 6. Columbus Circle is surface zero. Be advised, all targets at surface zero are now tagged as priority threats. Cell units? Max, you don't have a clue. Target locked. Fire! Jail for a while now. Might get a bit. Hello, legs. Okay, gonna swing in between the buildings. Slow them down a little. They usually work. No idea. Fuck! Keep them off our tail. The piece of maneuvers. Don't give me that. My great granddad flew defiance over London.
over in the field of human conflict have so many ugly squids been utterly fucking splattered by so few? I've got warning lights going off all over the dash. What's it like back there? Multiple fires. Pretty beat up. No way she's gonna make it. Okay. Can't risk a ground landing. I'll squeeze out what I can. Let's see if we can make the loose habit building. Should have a good view of the beam from there. Sound like a plan? Let's do it. Almost there! Come on! Come on! I think we... made it. Shit! Get working on the engines. I'll hold them off. Oh, good service, the bossy boots.
Michael? Where the hell are you? You know where to find me. I'm going to kill him. False memories.
Enter the labyrinth and confront the Minotaur. Something, Prophet. Something the Seth will never have or understand.
is mine! We evolved your technology. I can take double anything you can. Hold on! Michael! Uh, 
suit! I can't! Damn it, Bart! It was never just about the suit! What are you prepared to sacrifice? When they came to me with the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become Prophet. 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 Maybe the greatest tactical combat machine the world has ever known. Just following orders. Is it even human? He might as well be a fucking machine. But when you've sacrificed everything you had to become a perfect, cold, hard, logical machine, and that machine fails, what happens then? When Prophet fails, what's left? You have something, Prophet. But hold on! Something the Seth will never have. As a 
cutting-edge intel, not his state-of-the-art equipment, not his top-of-the-line weapon, just himself. Took me a long time to remember that. For now, the war is over. I made mistakes along the way, but after all, I'm only human. My name is Lawrence Barnes. They called me Prophet. I was a guest at one of your hospitals a little while ago. And I'd like to make a complaint.